Okay guys, today we're going to learn to make the wattle stitch. W-A-T-T-L-E, wattle stitch. Now this stitch is a paired stitch. It's a single crochet and a double crochet that are linked by a chain. Every now and then uh, check and make sure that you have your correct number of groups of stitches at, uh, on each row so that you're not missing your um, turn and chain, you know, your turn and stitches, your chain ones where you turn on the ends just to make sure. I would just check every now and then, make sure you have your same amount of groups here. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get started on this. So, um, if you'd like to do this stitch, this is a multiple of three plus two. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, uh, you can use any yarn, any hook. I'm using 4.5 and a uh, DK weight, but you can use any anything that you want. So uh, go ahead and make you a chain of three, multiple of three, and then add two. So if you want, you can start with a slip knot. Like this, and then just multiple of three. Like that, just make you a chain of multiple of three. Okay, so once you get your multiple of three, go ahead and add two. One, two. Okay, this is going to be a very easy stitch, uh, waddle stitches. You're going to love this. So go ahead and set, uh, single crochet in the second chain from the hook. There's your first chain and your second chain. Just make a single crochet. Okay, now you're going to skip the next two chains and in the next chain, third chain, you're going to single crochet chain one, and then double crochet in that same stitch. You're going to repeat that pattern all the way across. Skip the next two chains, single crochet in the third chain, chain one, double crochet in that same chain. This is how simple this waddle stitch is. Skip the next two chains, single crochet in the third chain, Chain one, double crochet. And here's what it's looking like right now. And just continue this all the way across. Skip two and then single crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip next two chains, third chain, single crochet, Chain one, double crochet. All right, when you get to the end, you should have three chains left over. So I will meet you at the end of your chain. Mine's a pretty long one. <laughs> so when you get to the end of your, your chain and you have three chains left. Okay, guys, uh, this is what it's looking like so far. And I am... At the end where I have three chains left, so I'm going to skip those two. And in the last chain, I'm going to just single crochet. Alright, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work. And I'm going to single crochet in that same stitch that I did my chain one. Okay, so now this is where you're going to work only in your chain one spaces. So each one of these single crochet, double crochet, V stitches, you're going to, in, a, in your chain one, you're going to work in each of the chain one spaces. So you're going to skip that double crochet that you did here. So start your work in the chain one space. So you're going to make a single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. And if you feel more comfortable about putting a stitch marker on the end of each row, you can. In the next chain one space, single crochet, chain one, 
and double crochet. And you just keep repeating that all the way across. In the next chain one space, single crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And I tell you, this was going to be easy. The next chain one space, single crochet, chain one, double crochet. That's what it's looking like. All right, I'll meet you when you get to the end. Get to the end of your last stitch right here, your last single crochet, double crochet, B stitch. You just make a single crochet in the top of that last single crochet. And go ahead and chain one, turn your work. And you're going to keep repeating row two. So you find your little stitch right there, your little chain one, single crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And in the next V stitch, single crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And you just keep doing that. Single crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And guys, that's all you do. You just keep repeating that in each one of the chain one spaces. And then when you get to the end, you single crochet on top of the single crochet, chain one and turn, and you just keep repeating that till you get to the size that you want. Guys, um, I hope you enjoy this stitch. I think it's a beautiful stitch. And um, as you can see how this one's a little more loose because I'm using a DK weight and um, this one is a four weight. So you can have it dense, real tight, or you can have it loose or flowy. Just depends on what yarn you're using. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial has helped you learn to crochet the waddle stitch. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.